Hi, I'm here to talk to you about microwaves. Now, I had a microwave a long time ago, before I knew the truth, and I used it for many, many things. And um, that was before I found out how dangerous microwave really is. Now, I've heard over the years, ever since I had my first child, that I shouldn't microwave my baby's milk in a microwave because it would kill <clears throat> it would kill the nutrients and stuff in the water and in the food. Now, I heard that, but of course, like many of us, we hear in one ear and take it out and let it let it go out the other ear and don't take it seriously or don't even try to look into it to see if it's true and we don't look into what the dangers or benefits of something really is. So anyway, along the way, I continued to use microwave and then we started having health issues and I wasn't getting enough nutrients from the foods that we were eating even though we were trying to eat healthy enough. Um, so when I learned more about it, I got rid of the microwave and tossed it out. I used my oven, I used my stove, and of course, and um, I love sauteing, steaming my food, baking my food, it's, it's good. But anyway, I also use, a, um, you can have a mini oven if you, if you can. Instead, instead it uh, cooks a little, a little quicker than the oven. Um, or, or just a mini size that you can have, you could take somewhere, you know, like have one stored on your, on your job, depending on what kind of job you have, and um, that way you can use that instead of a microwave. And uh, it, it, it does the same as the regular oven, and you don't have to worry about killing it with high voltage, you know, your food with high voltage like the microwave does, uh, which kills it like 100 times more. Anyway, like lightning bulbs do, <laughs> you know, I mean, lightning bulbs, sorry, like lightning does, that's what I mean to say. <laughs> um, yeah, lightning. Lightning, high voltage as we know it, it strikes something and what happens, it, it, it destroys what it strikes, right? So, same thing with the microwave, high voltage, it destroys what it attacks. You put your food in there, it's attacking it, you know, throwing voltage at it and it's killing it. So then when you get it, your food is all good smelling and cooked up and all that kind of stuff, but it's fried, basically. And, you know, what happens when you eat fried food, food that's, you know, it's dead, basically. <laughs> so if lightning was to strike a person or animal or something, it, it basically it fried it, zapped it. And we don't want that to happen to our food, even though we think that's safe, and it's really not. And also, so anyway, um, like the, the, the sun, uh, like well, the, the micro the, the microwave the oven the oven uh, remind me of the sun the way the sun no I don't do sun worship for some who may think I do uh, but just an example the sun um, every day shines on the earth and it has a purpose it was created and it has a purpose and the purpose the, is the brighter light to, to shine um, on earth a certain time of day and and, and everything works in unison. Everything works in, in a certain, uh, work together in a certain way. So the sun shines on everything that, that um, it, it gives energy. It gives, it gives a certain amount of energy that we need and that um, the plants need. It helps the plants make the food photosynthesis, which is good for our, for the, uh, which helps pr it produces on food, which is good for our body. And it gives us, and it helps us have energy too. And it helps us have vitamin D, natural vitamin D. We don't need cow's milk or anything like that to get vitamin D. They get their vitamin D from what is um, in the plant that the sun helps the plants produce. So therefore, we should use the safer, the safer way to cook our foods if we're going to eat them cooked. But I do recommend strongly to practice eating raw foods um, in the raw state most most of the time, and not once or twice a week, but at least once once a day. Yes, I said it. At least once a day, eat something raw, and I don't mean an apple and eat everything else cooked. I mean vegetables raw or a cup of herbs so so I do recommend that you do that so that way you can get the nutrients that your body do need throughout the day as you even um, as you go about eating cooked foods also um, and I know you may be wondering what about my meats you know but in my blog you will learn more that the foods that uh, are on the list that we mostly um, eat packed with protein and fiber and uh, minerals and vitamins, potassium, magnesium, and all of that. 
helps nourish your body more that you don't need to have to rely on on meat all the time but protein based you do not have to have meat i'm not against meat i love meat i still do eat meat but we're so we've been trained to eat this way for a while now that even when we do eat meat we can we can barely eat as much as we used to because our body already knows what it needs the most more than anything that nourishes it than meat and meat is dead dead um it's, it's, it's dead um flesh that you're putting in your body you consume dead flesh even though it's cooked you know it it's not going to it's not i'm not saying it's bad for you but it's not going to benefit you the same way as vegetables and fruit i mean it has no fiber in it or anything like that it's just protein because it's it's, it's um animal based protein but anyway i don't want to cook with the microwave and you definitely don't want to go about thinking oh well that's all i have to use and all that well if you're at work or wherever you are and the sun be shining out most of the time um i would say if you like the like type person that prep your food beforehand and you have like glass contain store try to store your food in glass containers best especially if you got food that you want heated up because you're getting close time to eating them um you can set it in your yeah, it's, it's nothing wrong with it <laughs> set it in your car um for an hour or so it don't take long while you're working up working up to the way up to your lunch hour and um, while the sun the heat from the sun is coming in and it kind of it cooks it for you basically you know how it is when your food gets overcooked in a car and you set it in a window and you go out and you get it your lunch or you know whatever you have is it's warmed up enough you don't have to be steaming hot but it's warmed up enough and you eat it you can do something like that or sit in the if you're working at a desk and you sit in a window where there's um we got sun coming through sit it there for a couple hours till your lunch time come and eat you can be uh, at room temperature or if you have a mini oven you can bring that into your you know lunch station where people probably you know if you have one where people come to gather the or sit down to eat their lunch and uh use that i mean you know probably would be helpful too and people might have uh, have questions why you do that and might want to do it too for the sake of the health and might donate one you know <laughs> like hey can i just you know replace this with that you know especially for those who don't use microwaves there are uh, better alternatives and um and my other one is a crock pot i love the crock pot i keep the shabbat so which is the sabbath um every week preparation day we cook our food before then sometimes we don't even cook we just make wraps and stuff and eat for the next day with fruits fresh fruits and vegetables and we be so full off of everything that we you know we don't always finish our food so we're always satisfied with what we fix but the crock pot is not just for soups and stews it can be used for many other things as well um and on the shabbat you know instead of us we uh, cook whatever need cook in it the day before and then the next day i'll put it on low and preheat it that's what i'll do preheat it um just a little bit just so where it's warm enough to stir and eat our food um so that way it won't be cooking per se and and my other is my stove i like to um so anyway i uh like to stir fry my food steam my food on the stove um i like to use my oven but barely i use them to bake my plantains you know slice them in slices and uh lace, blaze them with coconut oil and maybe some cinnamon and put them in there i use that and um you know just it's not difficult we don't have to be in a rush to do everything just take a few minutes extra time out to have the time to uh, warm your food up on a stove you don't always have to be in a rush all right i hope this has been helpful to you and also i will be putting a video up or there is i'm, I'm about to put a video up for you to watch also that will also help you link up with other websites and references to learn more about the dangers um of the microwave and other alternative benefits all right thanks for listening shalom